centenary year of the discovery of the world's costliest coffin. This year marks the beginning of the centenary year of one of the most exciting archaeological excavations of the last century, the tomb of King Tutankhamun. On November 4, 1922, a team headed by British Egyptologist Howard Carter began excavating the tomb of Tutankhamun in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. By the end of November, an antechamber, a treasury and the door to the tomb itself were uncovered. Howard Carter and his patron, Lord Carnarvon, knew that they were standing in the tomb of the 18th dynasty boy king Tutankhamun. Nervously, his hands trembling, Carter forced a small hole in the left-hand corner of the doorway, lit a candle and peered inside to find a room filled with gold treasures. But it was not until much later that the sarcophagus containing Tutankhamun's mummy was revealed. Tutankhamun was the famous pharaoh who ruled the new kingdom of Egypt between 1332 to 1323 BC, during the period known as the 18th dynasty. Tutankhaten was his first name, which meant the living image of Aten. It is believed that he was born in Akhenaten, the capital of ancient Egypt. King Akhenaten was father of Tutankhamun, who died when Tutankhamun was only seven years old. Two years later, he became the pharaoh and married his half-sister Akhenaten. Since he was too young to judge independently, most of his decisions as a king were made on his behalf by his vizier's. Inspection of the mummy of King Tutankhamun revealed that he was involved in some grave accident that shattered his rib cage, damaged his internal organs and broke his pelvis. It is possible that King Tutankhamun sustained injuries when he met with an accident while racing his chariot through the desert. Whether this was the primary reason for his death is yet to be concluded. When the tomb was opened, it was found to contain a dagger among several other items. The dagger was still exceptionally sharp after thousands of years. Tests revealed that the metal of the dagger came from a meteorite. His heart was missing. According to ancient Egyptians, the organ for reasoning was the heart and not the brain. So it was essential for afterlife and would be preserved. But in the case of King Tutankhamun, the heart was missing in his mummy. It has been theorized that possibly King Tutankhamun died when he was far away from home and by the time they got the body for embalming, the heart had already deteriorated and it could not be preserved. He was buried in the world's most expensive coffin. Two of Tutankhamun's three coffins were made of wood covered with gold sheet, but the innermost coffin was made from thick sheets of beaten gold. This coffin measures 1.88 meters in length and weighs 110.4 kg. If it were to be scrapped today, it would be worth well over one million pounds.